What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and I'm realizing now, of course, this uh, direct is going to be held in the holiday season, somewhat I suppose. A lot of people are kind of still a little bit touchy when it comes to the subject of how soon the holiday season, you know, the whole Christmas and all, all the other stuff for that holiday, for that time of the year. Um, people are sort of sensitive on how soon you do that, but I mean, hey, this direct is pretty much like the gift for us Nintendo fans, at least to me. So I'm gonna be treating it like a motherfucking holiday direct, man. So we should all be feeling all warm and fuzzy inside and really have the holiday spirit come out of us. You know, hey, a little early in my honest opinion, but why not? It's a cool theme, I like it, let's roll with it. There's some more details for us to talk about with this direct. If you've done your own research and you pretty much know everything that I'm about to tell you dudes, but even if you do know, um, let's share some of our opinions together, man. I'm also going to be doing a live stream, literally, right after this video was posted. So come fuck with me over there if you want to help make some bingo cards later on and this is this should be an amazingly fun process we're basically going to put together a bingo card and figure out who will be on what and um, how correct some of our predictions will be it'll be fucking hilarious so anyways now in terms of the direct itself so many details are coming out as time goes on and I'm not just counting leaks here now everyone's telling me yo Etika there was a fucking direct confirmed for from a 4chan post a while ago about the 12th of November but I mean there's been leaks in the past on 4chan where dates were predicted ahead of time and they turned out to be total baloney I'm just considering that maybe this time they had a lucky guess because I did see some of those leaks from that predicted 12th direct and it looked like absolute horseshit so don't 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 take that into consideration but um, I took down a couple of facts that were a little bit weird about this direct that's coming up on the 12th of November that is going to be on a Thursday I believe yeah, that's a Thursday. Why would Nintendo host a Direct on a school day? It's a little bit of a strange move, but I mean, not totally out of character, I suppose. I'm just usually used to Nintendo taking into account that a lot of their main demographic children would be in school at the time. But then again, maybe there's a holiday in certain regions? I don't know. I'm, I'm totally unaware. But as we know right now, it's a weekday, it's a school night, so who knows? Um, another thing that we need to take into account is... Um, it's going to be held at 2 p.m., which is 5 p.m. Eastern Time, um, 2 p.m. Pacific Time. And I don't really know what the other time zones are, but at least you know those details. Just getting all the basic stuff out the way. I know, you've seen these details already. How the fuck am I telling you anything new by saying all this shit? I understand where you're coming from here. But, you know, there's some people that don't really do all this research themselves, so I just want to make sure these facts are out of the way before we move forward. Another thing to take note of is that right here on the Nintendo Direct's main page where this will be happening, um, usually what goes down with this is you have the page open and an hour before the stream starts or somewhere along those lines, it transforms and you see the video pop up on the page, well, the live video, and it kind of like has sort of a countdown, but it doesn't really have the timer there, but you know what time it's going to start on the dot. Always on time, no matter what. Um, I've never seen the Direct late. but. This page specifically lists that, note, the presentation will not feature any updates on the NX or mobile, and none of us should really be surprised by the first part of this statement because the NX was basically told to us from way earlier in the year that we're not going to be discussing anything about it until 2016. And, you know, we've seen patents come and go, we've seen people rumored about the developer kit and whatnot, and there's been rumors from here to there, people saying that it's weaker than the PS4 and Xbox One, people saying it's stronger, it's a mobile console, it's not. There's so many things going back and forth with this and uh, a lot of credible sources saying these things and some of them seem to be saying opposing things in a lot of the situations but things may have transformed either way the NX will not be mentioned at all and that definitely needs to be the case because the Wii U still has a whole lot of fight left in it for 2015 16 and beyond so it'll be cool um, another thing that people are seriously pushing here is the whole Twilight Princess HD leak rumor Everyone is super excited about this because there was some data mining that was done on the eShop and they did find that title floating around there. So everyone's considering that this Direct may be where they announce that. And if they do, that'll be great because I never got a chance to play the Twilight Princess, um, the first iteration of it. So it would be awesome to get it this time around and it'll look even better. I thought it looked great as it is on the GameCube, but hey, this, would, this should be a much better experience if it's port to HD, Wii U, um, and the Wii U is holding it down right now in terms of titles, um, it just doesn't really have that much in terms of sales of itself, but I mean, it's got a great library at the moment, so I'm expecting this will really bring out the robustness of it and kind of sort of bring uh, Legend of Zelda titles to the Wii U, although we did have the um, 
the Wind Waker HD remake, which I definitely need to play because Wind Waker was an amazing title. But um, yeah, so these are basically all the details of the Direct brought out to the forefront. None of these rumors, leaks, or anything on 4chan are really believable because they could all basically just go off of whatever the hell they want. So there's no basis. Um, there's nothing really as terms of proof. And that's where you really have to take these things with a grain of salt. They're going to be popping up like crazy, though. So if I do see any that are somewhat convincing or interesting or at least bring up a cool idea, I'll cover them. A lot of people are pissed off at me. Well, not that many people. A minority, obviously. A minority of people are pissed off at me that I cover those leaks. And they're like, Etika, why do you give them any attention when, you know, they're obviously bullshit? And... They always make it seem as if I believe them. Like, I, I don't, but I think they're cool regardless. What happened when you were a kid, man? Did you run into a fucking no-fun zone and people made fun of you? And then you, you became a hard-ass about it after that? Dude, when I was younger, in the third grade, one of the most exciting things was the speculation about a game. People, you know, bringing up this cool information. Oh, I looked on this website where they print out a page that shows certain things. And, you know, nine times out of ten, it was all fake. Sometimes, rare once in a blue moon, you would see something that's amazing and it turns out to be real but I mean still that's part of the fun half of the fun of the direct and being a Nintendo fan in general is just the speculation the potential surprise the hype this is why I'm part of that culture I don't give a fuck if it's real or not if the idea is cool looking it brings some awesome unique stuff to the table and it's relatively possible I feel like it's worth a mention because I get excited reading it some people will say oh you know you're gonna disappoint yourself and make yourself feel bad when it turns out to be fake the thing is, is I don't let it go that far with me. Sure, I get excited about it, but I know full well, even throughout all the crazy hype shit that I go through in my videos, and in real life as well, that at the end of the day, if it turns out to be fake, oh well, we're still getting a surprise. Even if the thing that I was hoping for, which was a leak that was fake, didn't happen, we're still getting something new regardless when the Nintendo Direct comes out and it drops the bomb on us of what actually is real. So who gives a damn? It's all in good fun, man. People, let loose, man. Have fun. Lose your mind. Go crazy, man. Get excited. This is what it's all about. Don't have a stick up your ass. Why, why keep us? No, no, no. Leaks are bad. I don't like you when you talk about them fake leaks, man. Oh, man. What kind of fucked up shit are you perpetrating out here, man? Have a relax, nigga. Have fun, my boy. We Nintendo fans, baby. Have some fucking fun. Loosen your asshole a bit, man. Take the stick out, yo. We having fun out here, man. That's what it's all about, guys. So I will be giving you up-to-date coverage on any new information that this direct gives to us any potential leaks that look relatively interesting or somewhat real I'll be covering those as well and any other little tidbits um, we are gonna be making bingo cards in a few minutes on switch so head on down there and join the festivities we're all feeling the Christmas holiday Kwanzaa Hanukkah spirit over there, so bring your asses through. We're gonna have us some fun, man. I'll see you guys at the Twitch stream, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. We got a day and a few hours until the next Nintendo Direct under new CEO management from Nintendo. There's so many reasons to be hype about this, and I, I literally can't wait. I'll see you guys in the next one.